Got to ask about Andrew Wiggins. I know you've been asked a lot and and certainly don't want to minimize what he's going through and the things that you're, you can't say, but just by the, the, the tone of the way you're saying, are, are you braced for him not to return this season? Well, I mean, there, we're, we're to the point now where there's, there's only five games left. So, um, you know, we're just taking, taking things as, as they come. And um, I know we've all talked um, publicly about, you know, we're just, we're giving Andrew the space he needs to deal, deal with something that's incredibly uh, serious and, and difficult. And, and that's the, that's really the only thing that matters. And, um, you know, the door's open for him uh, if and when he's ready. And, and if not, that's fine too. Um, it, it's in the end, it's, you know, we're, we all love Andrew and we're concerned about, um, you know, his well being more than anything. And, and um, so we're supporting him. He's fine. You know, he's, he's healthy and he's, he's working out, um, but he's, you know, he, he has to have the space to, to do what he needs for his family. And we're, we're supporting that. This does seem like a trivial question based on all that, but it's a real thing. Your basketball team trying to win games, trying to win a championship. Can you win a championship without Andrew Wiggins? I think so. I mean, I, I, I really believe in this team. I think the fact that we, um, we, ha- we traded for Gary um, and the way that JK has stepped up in Wiggs' absence. Uh, you know, if you look at last year's team, um, you know, we had, um you know, the two on-ball defenders in Wiggs and, and Gary. And, you know, you plug plug JK into that wig spot now. Um, it's it's not as seamless uh, as it was a year ago because we had a whole season together and we had all that rhythm and continuity. But um, I do feel good about our, our chances, um, you know, just with the talent that we have and the experience that we have. 